Hello tanks, it's Mad and welcome back to some more World of Tanks console and today a different type of goes mad episode, it's not your normal type. Uh, today I'm going to be going mad about World of Tanks, you may have noticed recently there's been quite a lot of rant videos going on, one in particular which I'm about to talk about. Uh, please note as well though, I know I don't normally swear or try not to in my videos but inevitably one or two is going to slip out so if you do like to and watch my videos in the lounge on your TV or something like that with your kids. Uh, I'll give you a few seconds to get it turned off before I get too deep into things. Anyway, so back to that one video. Uh, it's, it was by someone who I really respect. It was by Mark GFL, Formula for Formula, Formula One. No, formerly Aging Jedi. I've had the pleasure of meeting him uh, a couple of times at Tank Fest. And here's one of the most placid, nice guys you will ever meet. I'd never heard him swear at Tank Fest. Um, you know me, I'm an ex-soldier, I swear quite a lot. And for me to try not to in these videos is actually quite hard, I'm afraid. I do do it quite a lot, especially when people upset me on World of Tanks. Yeah. Anyway, so for him to swear that much on one video... Things are not great, are they? I know that's PC, we're console, but there are some crossovers. And um, things are not great for us. I had just over a three month break from World of Tanks. And I'll be honest, I didn't plan on it being a break. I was done. And it wasn't until I watched one of the Battlebeards episodes from the Beard Guys. And I just thought, hmm, I fancy a little go. So I tried to update my Xbox, which it wouldn't. And um, some of you guys helped me out on Twitter how to fix the error to get it downloaded and uh, loaded up and got some content get together for you guys. Anyway, so I'm losing track of myself already. So I had a big break and um, I literally just had enough. It didn't, it just wasn't fun for me anymore. I was literally just playing to get content to show you guys, and that's not how you should do it. You should, if you're playing these games, games should be fun. I've always said that. And it just didn't, it just wasn't fun anymore. So I decided to stop. Um, I'm back now though. I'm getting a little bit bored of the other games I'm playing, so I'm back. Yeah. Right. So uh, I'm clattering on about all sorts of stuff which is not relevant. Anyway, so let's get back to the topic. Mark GFL was very upset with quite a few things that were going on. Mainly Power Creek, Matchmaker, blah blah blah. Uh, I'll be honest, uh, I don't think our matchmaker's that bad, so I'm not going to talk about that because it's completely separate. What I'm going to talk about though is overpowered tanks, but before we get there, I've actually made a list. Um, reskins. How many premium tanks do we need? How many different versions of the same premium tank do we need? Um, there are some uh, exceptions that I really like, so let's talk about tanks I do like. Uh, well, what about the Cromwell Berlin? Love that tank! But unfortunately there was a problem there as well. I bought that tank because of how it looked. It had the Berlin paint scheme from um, when the war was won, and um, they all had a big parade. And then uh, it wasn't until I'd had it about a month, but one of you guys again let me know that that paint scheme doesn't count as one of your camo paint schemes. So Monice Cromwell Berlin is now plastered with all other sorts of uh, paint schemes on the top. Yeah, so that really peed me off a little bit, but. The main problem here is reskins, isn't it? How many different types of the same tank do you really need? And who thinks of these names like Deathstalker? What is that all about? What's the other ones? Frostbite, Grizzly, oh, Yazzie. What are these names all about? This is meant to be not a simulator, but it's meant to be a game about tanks from, you know, World War One up to sort of, you know, when the first Iraq war was going on, the Russians still had some of those tanks um, from tier 10 hanging around. Not the Russians, sorry, sorry Russia, the, the Iraqis. Yeah, uh, it's gone from being what was loosely a simulator to a kid's game, really. And then there's the other aspect to these premiums, the overpowered ones. And I'm thinking about one because I had a bit of an incident the last time I played, the Defender. There was a massive shit storm. Oh, there we go, there's one. Yeah, there was a massive storm when that thing came out on PC. 
Not so much on console. I don't think people care as much on console. Um, right, so what happened to me? Well, I was in my own oho. And uh, I came up against the defender. A very well played defender, I will say. Um, just to put this in context. I think I played a decent game. Had the dirt gun. My foot is shot into him. Hit his gun, did zero damage and just uh, damaged his gun. My next two shots aimed at his weakest armour did less than 300 total. And um, I got no more shots in because he just sat there, aimed in and killed me. So if I can't kill him in an OHO, uh, what luck would I have in one of my tier 8 premium heavies? And I'm thinking of one, the 112. That tank has been buffed, but uh, I don't think any of you, if uh, 112 won against the defender, I don't think any of you would bet on the 112 to win, would you? I think the odds would be like a million to one. And if you did bet on it and they did win, you'd be a millionaire. It's not going to happen. Yeah. So uh, all these tanks I've got in my garage, well not all of them, but a lot of them, are um, null and void. Absolutely pointless. So will we get a trading scheme where we get Klaus Kellerman's Russian refund, where you give them more money uh, to get a tank that you can actually use these days? Because most of the teams are populated by the same tanks these days. It's just... Uh, what was I thinking about the other day? When was the last time you saw a Type 4 or 5 Heavy? in top tier games. Um, just stuff like that. When was the last time you ever saw anyone in an ARL? Or It's just people playing the same tanks over and over again. I know some of you are going to now say that you see them all the time. Um, but I haven't. Yeah. So what's next on my list? Paywalls. Well that kind of comes back to reskins. Some of you have been around a while. Uh, remember, when was it? Halloween, not last year. I think it was the year before when the Kaiju came out. That was the first time I ever really said anything negative in a video, I think. I thought that was a horrendous thing to do. Japanese heavies were about to come out, so um, it would have been a good idea to get a Japanese heavy and start grinding a crew, or any Japanese premium. I know we're not um, tank type locked like PCR, uh, but if you really wanted the Kaiju, or to try a Japanese heavy with the dirt gun, uh, before they came in the tech tree, you had to buy the paywall bundle. And I know, again, uh, mention them again, Ben from the Beard Guys, he was very unhappy about this and did make quite a lot of comments about it, which is why I always like the Beard Guys. They say it how it is. They've recently left the contributors program as well uh, for the same sort of reasons that I'm talking about. Yeah, right, so paywalls. Not going to talk any more about that. OP tanks, we've done that. But not just OP tanks, the amount of tanks. There was a tank they released recently I really wanted to buy. But at the exact same time, they released the same tank, but just with a different gun and called it something else. And I'm talking about the King Tiger and the other one. If they'd have just released on one month the King Tiger with a great World War II paint scheme, I would have got my money out straight away. Oh, I could not have ignored that. That would have been like a a premium comic with a stupid name to me which I didn't buy purely because of the name yeah anyway this is turning into a right old rant isn't it anyway right so on to me the channel and what's going to go on in the future I'm back thanks to probably mainly Jamus from the Beard Guys clan he messaged me quite a few times on discord and I said I'd make one video for him and here's a second one so I'm back at it again aren't I um, there won't be as many I just can't put the time into it these days I'm enjoying my World of Warships and there will be a few World of Warships videos as well I know some of you are enjoying that views are not good on it but I've never done this for views uh, I've done this because I enjoy doing it and um, I will put a few World of Warships videos up so on to the biggest thing I want to talk about now uh, probably most people won't care including a certain group uh, the community contributor program to me um, the only thing I got out of it was a free pass to tank fest and as you all know now console were not invited so I literally get nothing from the contributor program I could if I had the time 
get all the loan tanks and do premium review videos which you may have noticed as well but I'm not doing it either because I don't want my channel to be just some boring twat reading out the stats of a premium tank and telling you the price and telling you to buy it because that's not what I want I want my channel to be about good gameplay and I love it when you guys send me those good replays um, unfortunately I haven't had time to show any lately because I haven't been doing any videos but I will be yeah um, I'm getting lost again yeah so the contributors program you can get loan tanks but we get them when they're already on the live server because we don't have a test server and it's kind of pointless because most of the people who are going to buy a premium tank they're going to buy it on day one and they're not going to hang around for a video where some boring git reads the stats out and then uh, tells you the price and they've probably got a mastery replay from day one when the mastery figure is so low anyway um, yeah so uh, that's no good to me um, also codes I know you guys like getting codes for free stuff and, um, for subscriber milestones but when was the last time I did one a long time ago I did a big code giveaway and that wasn't through lack of trying from me I kept asking and asking and getting completely ignored one Christmas I was asked to do a Christmas stream and asked to do a Christmas giveaway as soon as I accepted I was duly ignored and I just want to point out that I'm not talking about Mr Conway he has been great the last big subscriber giveaway I did the codes actually came from Mr Conway's private stash from what he had lying around from after a show so thank you Mr Conway you've always been good and I'd also like to exclude from that carbide I don't think I've ever asked him for codes so it would be wrong for me um, to cast his name in that group as well so uh, yeah so what am I going to do about it well I'm now going to officially tell you guys that I've left the community tribute program um, I'm not going to tell them directly because in the last three and a half months of me not putting any videos up uh, they have not bothered to speak to me once to even see if I'm still alive so I'm just going to not bother and see if anybody bothers to contact me which they won't so uh, yeah there we go so there won't be any premium content from me apart from the ones I buy and you can normally tell if I like it because I've already bought it it's simple isn't it fellas yeah anyway so uh, big thanks guys thanks for hanging around I'll uh, catch you on the next one see you later